Hi, this is Scott Weidenkiewicz from Imagely. Today's video, we are going to go over the why and how to use Google Tag Manager. Now first, let's talk about the why. Google Tag Manager is basically a visual interface where you can manage scripts that you would put on your website. For example, Google Analytics, Google AdWords, Facebook ad tracking, Twitter ad tracking, anything like that. Now, Google Tag, Tag Manager can actually go way beyond just those things. It can do a lot more than what I just said. But for this demonstration, for this purpose, I'm only going to talk about that. I'm only going to break it down to you adding scripts to your website by really only adding one Google Tag Manager script to your website. And the fact that you don't even need to add a script, you can just add a plugin to your WordPress website, and then you are ready to go. So first things first, you're going to go to tagmanager.google.com, and you're going to create a container. Now, first, you have to create a site or an account. Um, I have multiple accounts, so I'm sort of skipping that, that section and just going into creating a container. If you need help setting up your first container, just do a Google search for, you know, setting up Google Tag Manager, and you'll find Google's Google's own tutorials on how to set it up. But I'm going to skip that part and go right into creating a container for a website. Now you can create them for apps if you have an app as well, but I'm going to do just a website, call it playground.com because I'm just using my test playground, hitting create. And now I have this script right here. Now, before I go any further, I'm going to head over to my playground, the WordPress site playground I have on Imagely Hosting. And I want to actually install plugin and use this script. Okay, so let's go over here. Here I have the add plugins. I already did a search for Google Tag Manager. And the one we're going to add is this one. It's Google Tag Manager. Right now it has 7,000 active installs. And uh, it's actually made by George, who actually works on the Jetpack team for Automatic. So he actually works on the Jetpack plugin. Um, it's been updated. Last update was 11 months ago, probably because Google Tag Manager doesn't really change and much at all. And um, it really just needs to be updated for compatibility. So if it's not updated, uh, it's probably for a good reason. But we're going to install that one. And then we're going to activate it. Now, to use this, all you do is go to Settings and scroll down to right here. It says Google Tag Manager, all right? So we're going to go back. You see, it says how you need the uh, ID from Google Tag Manager, not including the rest of the script. We're going to go back here and just copy that part of the script and then paste it in right here. And I'm going to hit Save Changes, and now it's done. Now, if you want to see if it's actually on your site, go to the live site, view your source, your source code, and do a search for that script. And you'll see that now that script is actually on the source code of my page, and I didn't actually add a script. All I did was add the ID code of the Tag Manager thanks to that one plugin. And then I'm going to hit OK back in Tag Manager. And now I have a tag manager um, container set up and ready to go. So here's what you do. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a new tag. And we're going to choose a Google Analytics. And now it's Universal Analytics because that's what Google does now. And then you can see here it says to add a tracking ID. So I'm just going to grab one that is for a different site. It doesn't make a difference for this demonstration. I'm going to add the tracking ID right here. I'm going to say this is actually for a page view. You can see, as you can see, there's different things. You can really get into the nitty gritty and customize it all, including more settings, advanced settings. There's tons of different things um, that you could do, but I'm not doing that for this demonstration. I'm showing you the simple version because really I want you to use Google Tag Manager for the simple act of managing your scripts. And we're going to hit continue and we're going to fire it on all pages and create a tag. We're going to call this, uh, we'll call this Google Analytics, not Universal Analytics, because it's actually Google Analytics. And we're going to save that. And now here it is. Now, let's say you also want to add a Facebook pixel, but only to one page. We can add a new script. And as you can see, there's no Facebook showing up here. There are Google AdWords, there is LinkedIn. So there's, there's a bunch of different things. But we're going to add a custom HTML tag. And then here you would add your, um, this would be a Facebook pixel, right? So you would add your pixel from your Facebook ad right here. Hit continue. 
And then here we're going to say, I want this to fire on only some pages. So you can go ahead and choose create a new page. Call it whatever. We'll say it the thank you page. And page URL matches. Or you can say page URL is exactly what ends with. So we can say, um, let's say it equals. And we'll say it's, um, let's actually grab that URL, that my playground URL, and we'll say it actually equals thank you. So that's the actual URL. Oops, I actually clicked off of the wrong thing. Stay here. Um, uh, you can see the URL actually matches what I want. We can hit save and then create tag. And we'll call this Facebook Pixel Thank You. And now there it is. Now, I have two, uh, two tags that I've added, but they're unpublished as you can see right here. There's actually three unpublished, first being the actual container is unpublished, and then you have two tags that are unpublished. So we're gonna hit publish. Invalid input, make sure inputs are valid. So I'm not sure what was causing it. Let's go back and just double check. Everything looks okay. That looks good. And that looks good. So let's try this one more time. Publish now. There we go. So here's what's really cool about this. Right now, if I go back to the playground and I refresh, this is all fine. It's all there. But you'll see the tag manager still shows just the Google tag. However, Everything I put is actually showing up on in on the page. So Google Analytics is tracking. If I go to that thank you page, which right now will give me a 404 error because there's nothing here, um, that will show the the Facebook pixel that, that I would have put. All of that is because it's running through the tag manager, which is really cool. Now, here's an extra really neat thing about tag manager. I can go ahead and make a new one. So let's say we want to pretend we're going to do a Facebook one and we'll call it. So here's the uh, the partner ID. We'll fire that in all pages and create a tag. And we'll call it LinkedIn Insights. Now, check this out. Right now, it shows I, I'm on version two. There's one unpublished change. That means it knows this is brand new. I can actually preview uh, everything that's new and, and publish that uh, as is. So I can go ahead and I can publish. And again, it's sometimes it throws this random error. I'm not sure why, but now version two is published. And there we go. Now let's say you made a mistake. If you go to versions, you can see the different versions and you can actually roll back to the older version if you want to and forget about the one that you made a mistake on. So that's a beautiful thing about tag managers. You can manage all of your scripts, make changes and revert using version control back to whatever you need, right? It's really nice like that, um, that you can do that. So um, check out Google Tag Manager, add your Google Analytics scripts there if you're not using a Google Analytics plugin, add your Facebook tracking because that's where you would actually add your Facebook pixel, and then publish that on your site using that Google Tag Manager plugin for, your, for WordPress. And you'll see how easy it is for you to manage all of that in one spot and make updates in real time without having to really know any code because you're just putting what Google's telling you, you're putting what Facebook's telling you, what Twitter's telling you, Pinterest, all of those. You're telling, taking all those, literally copying and pasting and putting them in with a very visual system thanks to Google Tag Manager. If you have any questions, let us know, but I hope you enjoy checking that out.